to the crack of dawn. I'm so excited that you're tuning in. It's so fun. My directors are all here, my cameraman. Uh, everybody's here. It's so fun. And we work as a team. We're just so happy to be here. So I was like, what am I going to paint? What am I going to paint? I didn't know what to paint. I just got back from the vineyard. I was thinking a nice great white shark scene would be great, seal attack kind of thing. But then I was like, that's kind of hard to paint. So what I did is I went through my studio and I thought of my friend Heather to be a guest. And I said, Heather, come on the show. And she's like, oh, I can't. I'm going to be in Kenny Bunkport or wherever she's going. So I was like, OK, whatever. I'm going to do it anyway. So I did this painting in 2013, years ago, right where they did all their construction in Farmington as you're coming down the road by Truffles. Uh, I don't know if it worked out so well. Got to do a traffic uh, report on that one. It seems a little tough to get around still. Sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so she owns the uh, store called Vivid Hue Home, which is right next to Truffles. But it used to be two doors down to Truffles. So when I was painting the store back in, it says it right here, 2013, uh, this was a real estate agent. And so it doesn't look like a gift shop. Well, if you look at this, this is now Heather's store. And I'll hold it here for a while so you can zoom in. So Heather completely recreated the storefront, which is uh, a lot of people, you know, you don't have to let people in your house. People can still say, oh my gosh, this lady, I can tell, she knows how to decorate. Well, guess what? You don't have to let them in the front door. You can just think, let them think the whole inside is gorgeous just by looking at the outside. So that's kind of what my house looks like. People drive by, oh, it's quintessential Cape Cod. Unbelievable. The hydrangeas, ah. And I'm like, well, you're not coming in, okay? Because I can't decorate. So people, I used to have parties and everybody, oh, are you going to Don Lombardi's? Oh my God, who's going to Don Lombardi? Oh, we can't wait. For, wait for what? To see if I know how to decorate? Because guess what? No. I shop at the OSJL collection. So most of my stuff is from the Christmas tree shop, you know? Uh, so my dad has a friend. He's a total, I don't know if he's a bachelor anymore, but he was. And he had in his house just lawn furniture. It was hilarious. He's like, yeah, all these things recline. It's like, okay, you get 28 recliners, like those things you bring on the beach or at the pool. That was in his house. It was crazy. Uh, so let's get started. So back when I was painting this, um, these are some of my pa favorite paintings. Um, you'll see a lot of people say, Dawn, you're so good at the Patriots. Dawn, you're so good at Tom Brady pictures and horse races. That is totally different than these paintings. Uh, let me show you what I mean. What I mean is when I go to the pool, this is the pool I belong to. When I go to the pool, these aren't perfect paintings. This is what's in front of me. These people are running, chasing each other with the lifeguard yelling, stop running. Uh, and I try to paint them fast. So I try to get people's kids in, you know, so when the lady's like, oh, is that my daughter? I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Who else is wearing a pink suit? Oh, just her. So what you do is you try to put people's kids in. They're not going to look exact, but on that given day, everybody's going to know that this is the cool lifeguard that's like, you know, the bodybuilder, good looking guy, all the girls chase him around. That was a couple of years ago. I don't know if he's still there. But again, it's a moment in time. Uh, here's another one from the pool. My daughter is here. And she's probably, I don't know, six. So all the girls see me painting and they're like, Mrs. Lombardi, oh, oh my gosh. If we sit here, will you put us in the painting? And I'm like, sure. Can you make us mermaids? And I'm like, yes, we can. So these are my favorite paintings. Not working from photographs, depressed, in one room with no light, it's awful. So I like to go out. I like to meet people. Hi, everybody. Oh, yeah, I love it. Um, so I enjoy it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a brush, and we're going to see what Heather did to this darn shop. Um, it looks like she didn't really change the, out, the, the, the building's color. So I'm leaving that, OK? It's sort of like the bride. Watch out, brides, because there are only brides. Some can wear white. Some can wear off-white. If you don't figure that out, oh, that is bad for the skin and the light. Bad, bad. you got to figure out, are you the white bride? I'm white. I wear the white dress. Uh, it depends on skin color. Some people do the off-white. So I'm showing the palette, and I'm going to show you what colors I have. <clears throat> now, Heather painted her door Barbie doll pink. I don't have that. So if I had prepared for today, I would have gotten some Barbie doll pink. But you know what? Not everybody has that. So we're just going to wing it, and we're going to try to see what color she uses. Um, I know she calls it Nantucket blue. Uh, Heather calls this dark blue. 
and uh, I must be a, a, a predominant color that they have over on that island. In Martha's Vineyard, it's called Edgar Town Green. Oh, just saying, that's what mine are like at my house. That's why it really looks like you're going in the vineyard when you go by my house. But there's no ocean. And the hydrangeas need the ocean because mine are all wilting. So, so let's start with a couple things. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of those cars. Plus, those aren't fancy enough. I don't know who's parked there. It's probably my car. Uh, but we're gonna jazz those up. I mean, I'm gonna put something fancy out there, maybe Maserati. So I'm gonna get rid of these cars first, just to make it a little easier, okay? Because she really, you know, jazzed up her floor front. Now, this is tough. You know, people are saying, oh my gosh, you're going over a painting that you did in 2013, and it's signed on. I'm like, I know. And Heather's a friend of mine. So I'm not doing this just to make her buy it. I'm not, Heather, I'm not. I swear to God, I'm not. So what I'm doing is I'm going over this. Uh, this might be an oil painting because uh, I think I switched to, I think I, I, think I, uh, I moved my palette so you can see. Uh, I think I started acrylic painting uh, later. I can't remember. So this might be acrylic over oil and people always say, you can't do that, you can't do that. I think people are just too worried about things. It's like, what do you mean I can't do that? It's not like it's against the law. I'm painting over another paint. So I'm doing it. And people, oh, you know, people that think they know everything. Oh, well, technically you're not supposed to mix the acrylic with the oil. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't really care. I'm doing it. So guess what? Now my painting is oil and acrylic. How about that? Isn't that great? So I'm going over these cars, and it's pretty easy to mix her uh, color of the house. I would say it's a Naples yellow. And you know, I forgot to mix the Naples yellow because I didn't think that, let me get my cloth here too, bending a little down over here. Okay, so I got the cloth, very important to have here. Um, so the Na Naples yellow is way over by my pocketbook, and instead of going to get it, um, I'm just gonna try to match this. I think I can. So let's see. Um, Naples yellow is a very light, light brown. People say, how do you make brown? I forgot to put brown on my palette. But guess what? Just like I tell you all the time, think Christmas, red and green. Okay, red and green. That's gotta make brown. It's gotta. They're right across from the color wheel. Oh my God, it worked. Okay, I'm gonna add some of this because it is called Naples yellow. And then I'm gonna add a hunk of white, tons of it. And look at that. See, I'm very good at mixing colors. People are like, how do you do that, Dawn? I'm like, look. If you're not good at it, just go buy the tube. Like, who cares, okay? I'm good at it. I've been doing it forever. Matter of fact, my husband and I, we're 20 years, Tone and I, we're going away. Uh, yeah, we wouldn't be married 20 years if we thought about, about uh, mixing paint. Because we always talk about who mixes paint better. I say I do, he says he does. I mean, we don't really care, but. Um, so, you know, I'm going in this Naples yellow. Again, it's hard to go over something like a, uh, a red car with the Naples yellow, but it's not that hard to mix this. So, um, you know, you're gonna get good at mixing as you go along, and we're trying to go fast here. We could do two episodes, we might do one, we don't care. Um, you know, so I'm just gonna try to fix this up. But again, uh, outside of your house, my husband sells Pittsburgh paint in um, Norwalk, that's where Tone works, and again, he, uh, it's hard to mix the paint. So it's all kind of the same thing too, I noticed. Uh, paint's paint, that's what he says. I mean, there's better paint. But a lot of stuff you can do, you get the little swatches, they'll tell you exactly what your house will look like right on the website. I think it's called Hover, H-O-V-E-R. You grab that little app and you take a picture of your house from a couple different angles, and then you can hit colors, change your door, change your, you know, everything, really. So, yeah, we uh, had fun on the boat. We did not see any great white sharks, lots of seals. I think I told you that already. I took a picture of a whole pile of seals sleeping together, and I sent it to my dad, and I said, Dad, you can't really see the kids, but they're snorkeling right behind those seals. Oh. He was like, Dawn! No, I think he knows that I'm joking now. I was just joking around. They're not swimming with the seals, because there's a big old great white right behind them. So we'll go to Mystic tomorrow, and that should be fun. I think there's a window here. See, there's a second window. So I'm just gonna go here and leave this like that, okay, because this is her building here. Now, I'm gonna make the brick sidewalk. How do you make brick? Let's add some red. Let's just mix it in what we already have. Because a lot of times people start mixing over in another area, and you know what? I can make brick. I'm doing some orange, I'm mixing that Naples yellow that I just made, and now I'm gonna go in and put this brick, okay? It's a little orangey for me, because see, look, 
but that's gonna look like light. Light is hitting the end, and I don't like red mulch. I don't like it. It looks like the house is gonna start on fire. I like dark mulch. So if you have red mulch and you're my neighbor, sorry. Sorry. Uh, so I'm gonna go across like this. Again, I have that car there. Um, what I'm gonna do here, and I'm turning a little bit, I'm sorry, but I am going to br bring, I forgot to bring Heather's uh, business cards in with me. But basically it's like Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, it says vivid in pink and it says hue in orange. So think Dunkin' Donuts. It's great to mix colors like that. A lot of times mixing, uh, Heather always says, to go outside of your comfort zone. You know, wear green, wear a vintage dress with a brand new J. Crew shoe. Or do, you know, I don't know how to do that, but she does. So it's kind of fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move away from the windows and I'm gonna go to the awnings just because, you know, why not? And the other stuff will dry. So I'm gonna take a little white, mix it with this blue, and she said, yeah, it really is this color blue. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna make the whole awning blue. And I think I'm gonna make it go this way because it is going that way. So again, that's kind of perspective. So we're gonna throw on these awnings and you can see how, you know, really with a little decorating, you know, you could go to the Christmas tree shop, you could probably furnish your whole house there. I mean, minus the bed, but the bedding, I mean, they have everything. And you know, bed, bath and beyond my bank account, that's good too. Uh, but again, let's save, save, save. I love bed, bath and beyond though. I love to shop, but I'm a goodwill girl, I love it. Uh, I love to just see what they have, you never know. I throw out a lot of stuff and a lot of good stuff. You know, I'm ready to throw out a coach bag. So if anybody's at the um, Bristol, look for my coach bag. It's gonna be there soon. It's gorgeous. But you know, I got too much stuff and uh, a lot of people are very good at decluttering and um, I'm okay at it. I like to throw out. I like to throw out resumes and things that have to do with jobs. Isn't that awful? I just feel like, yeah. So I'm gonna put the other awning here. Now this one is kind of going in front of this door here, so I'm just gonna do it. Somebody said, what is that thing? And I have a friend who's an art historian. She said, she's an art historian, and she said that these things here, and there's one in front of the first Congo, um, she says that's a whipping post. And I thought, you know, she said that's a whipping post. I said, really? I don't think they'd have that here anymore. They don't even have Yawkey Way. They can't have a whipping post in town. But she said that is what it is, and it is part of history. But I don't know. I'll have to ask some people in town. I'll have to ask some people. So we're going to go there. We're going to put in these awnings. OK. And then I can hear my, there we go. OK, so I'm going to put those awnings on. And then I'm going to add the, do uh, the Dr. Blue. And then, hey, Kat, can you turn off the, um... oh, that's OK. She's turning off the mic, because I get very confused. I was uh, you know, thinking about my math skills the other day, and I was saying to someone, I watched an uh, interview with John F. Kennedy Jr. Love that guy. I saw him once. He was out with Daryl Hannah on a date at Steamers in Hyannisport. Me and my mom and my sister were like, oh! But I realized that he, he kind of has the same math skills. JFK Jr. Oh! So the guy goes, Larry King goes, oh, you know, so your dad, when was he born? How old would he be? And she said, uh, he goes, I don't know, I'm not good at math. And I thought, oh, he doesn't even know how old the father would be. That's great. Right up my alley. I am doing these awnings, and they're just blue stripes. They're very thin ones. You know, this stuff is very preppy and in. I mean, you'll see the minute you meet Heather, it's like you, you want to throw out the whole closet, start over. I mean, maybe you got 10 minutes. I think we might be able to do this in one episode because I am fast, and I love it. And this, these are going to take a while, so I might move away from something else. Um, down in the vineyard. Okay, so uh, got, I had the pleasure of meeting a lot of wonderful people, but it's been on my mind for years. For years it's been on my mind. I go over on the Island Queen, or the, in this case I went over on my brother-in-law's boat, which they didn't name it yet. Oh, I know what they're naming it, Bunker. That's what they call, my nephew John is Bunker. Oh, he's so cute. So I think they're naming it Bunker. It's so cute. So uh, anyhow, uh, went over and met a lot of people, but every time I go on the Island Queen, there's some paintings on the Island Queen. They're fantastic paintings. I never knew who did the paintings. Well, I know because it says Barnes in the corner, but I didn't know the Barnes family is a founding member of the Chappaquiddick Island. So they are one of four, five, six, seven, eight families that are the members of the Martha's Vineyard. Crazy. 
So I got to meet this girl, Elizabeth Barnes. I was like, oh my gosh, she couldn't have been lovelier. She's a member of the family. And um, I looked in her house the minute I walked in, I noticed his paintings, the ones from the Island Queen. And I said, you're related to that guy that does all these paintings. She goes, well, look at my house. They're all over the place. I looked around the house. Oh, it makes me get goosebumps. I was so excited. So his paintings are a lot like these. Yeah. They're not perfect. You can't see your face. This is called trying to paint a painting live. It doesn't happen that quick. So his paintings are very funny and they're very, uh, you laugh when you see them. And they're funny not in a, in, a, in a bad way. They're funny in a good way. So they're pretty good. So I'm gonna put these uh, awnings in. Um, I'll, make, I'll go a little faster. Again, we have the Nantucket around the blue door. Let's throw that in there, okay? I'll try to finish it. 10 minutes is long. For me, oh my gosh, I can't sit still. Eight minutes is a long time. I can't sit still in case you haven't noticed. You should try sitting next to me at a restaurant. Oh, it's pretty bad. Uh, don't do well on boats. Mm -hmm. But I did well on this boat. This was a nice little boat. I'll tell you, these Boston whalers, I know they're not cheap, but it's a nice boat. It was a nice boat. And um, drop down the pallet. Yeah, these directors are good here. They're telling me what to do left and right. So I've got kind of a yucky blue. I don't know what's going on. It's probably my cheap blue. I don't know where I bought it. But uh, again, we have Lauren here tonight. Hi, Lauren. Lauren is my friend. And she was just saying, I have those paints, you know, because she's an art artist and art teacher like me. So, of course, she has all this stuff. So she knows, too, when you mess, you know, you run, run into this garbage paint. And it's okay. It's not the end of the world. We're just trying to make Heather's store look vivid hue homey because it doesn't. So, again, if you make mistakes and stuff, it doesn't matter. This kind of stuff you can fix later. I mean, obviously, it's architecture, so you do want it to be uh, straight. You know, it's always good if your house is straight, not falling down kind of thing. So I'll just try to put in that. And once I get the door in, I think it'll look good. The other windows, maybe we'll do the windows quick. We could do the windows. Speaking of windows, I need blinds. I need blinds. I can tell the neighbors aren't liking it. So I get these paper blinds. You get them at Walmart. They're $4.95. You just crunch them up like this and put two clips, and they're temporary blinds. They're great. Cheap. OK, I'm putting on the windows. I'm going to go on the door uh, because I'm going to do those. It looks like it has six windows. No, eight. I can't do math. Look at that. Three times four is what? Twelve. Wow. I gone, did it. Okay, so we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can do all that with one. You know, you want to be a realist, you're not doing what I just did. So if you want to paint realistically, you know, don't do it like this. But, you know, I, that's how I paint. So I'll throw in the windows. So it looks like uh, this window is starting over here and probably going a little bit more. I've got to make sure those are straight. Again, just black. I'm in the corner here, so I don't know how you're seeing this. I could back up a little, or I can also do that one later. And I can't move it over because this thing weighs a lot. A lot of canvases weigh a lot, and some canvases don't. So anyway, I'm putting in those windows. I might put away from that for a little bit. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in these green little, she's got those little bushes in the front, and they're like three balls going on the top of one another. I don't know what those cost. I don't even know if they're real. But they are in planters, and I forgot to put the planters. So let me put the planters. Uh, it's very important, the, the planters. They sell all these things at Ocean State Job Lot, too, all these planters and stuff, but they got them everywhere. You can buy these planters. People make their own planters. Um, you know, ceramic classes you take, you can make these things. You can go to those art parties and grab one of these planters and make it your own. You know, again, I messed up a few times, but I don't care. Um, it looks like she didn't do anything with the roof. So she got rid of that, um, whatever that is. So I'll just get rid of that and I'll put the roof back. Um, so I'm going to go back in with the roof again. Some gray. Four minutes. Eh, not bad. It's pretty good. So I hope everybody's enjoying the summer. I, it has been hot. It has been hot. I'm trying to go to the pool. There's some blue in my roof. I know you probably can't see it, but I see it. So I throw some blue in there. And you got the blue in the roof. And let's see if I can match it. No, a little bit darker. So we'll go a little darker. You know, if you can match it, it's good. I'm going to go right over that. A little darker. And again, you know, don't worry about making mistakes. It's fun. It's sort of like, you know, Tootsie, one of my favorite movies. 
You would not know that is a man. Yeah. Then he takes off all that stuff and you're like, what? Oh my God, I can't believe it. One of my favorite movies. Uh, we did not go see Jaws on the Vineyard, but they were showing it. They show it every Friday night, Vineyard Haven, ah, at the uh, movie theater. It's so fun. I think I saw a couple movie stars, but I don't know. One time when I was there, I saw Lance Armstrong with Mick Machanaki. What's his name? Michael McConaughey. McConaughey. I don't even know. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add those three planters because it's going to be easy. And then if we do do an epi another episode, we might, we might not. You get the hang of it, though. We're going to mix green with black to get what? Greenish black. Oh, my God. That's why when people, how do you make that? I'm like, oh, my God. I thought I was slow. Whew. Greenish black, green and black, perfect. So I'm gonna put three of those little blobs here. There's one here, and there's one here, and there's one there. We need it to look more green. So I'm gonna put more green, because that does not look like a bush. So we'll put the bush there. Oh, how cute is that? And she decorates so good. Heather, I still don't think you've ever been in my house. We've gone out more times. I'll let her in. She said she doesn't care, but she decorates so good. I can't believe it. A lot of people are good at it. Some people are terrible, yeah. you know, and you can't even believe it. But you know what? People are so happy. A lot of people think they decorate great, and some people really don't care. And, like, really, who cares anyway? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Um, my yeah. sister is helping me pack for my trip. I'm very excited. Looks like there's not much green or anything anymore, but she does have a lot of different items in the window, so you know what? I'm gonna put some green around there anyway because, hey, she could have some things in the window there. Um, her Vivid Hue Home sign. Again, it's very Dunkin' Donutsy. So I'm gonna take a, uh, a brush. I'm gonna get a skinny one. This is a very skinny one. And I'm gonna make her sign. Now, it starts off being white. So we're gonna put her sign here. Make the whole darn thing white. Uh, there is not really that color blue going around it. It's more of a light blue. So we're gonna go over. A lot of times the white, think about, about it as white out. It covers up everything. It goes over the whole darn thing and you don't really have to worry. Uh, she might be selling, she's selling this like anchor in the window that you get at the beach. So I'm gonna put that in there. It's like an anchor from the beach. Uh, she usually has a little Adirondack chair out here, sort of like, uh, I can't remember how to make these things. We've made them before. Uh, I don't know, let's see. Usually I'm pretty good at it, but this time not so much. Oh, it's fine. We'll just put a blue pillow on top of it because, you know, she sells blue pillows there, too. We'll put a pillow there. Uh, you know, throw that out. Okay, now what am I going to put? Oh, the pink door. Oh, it has so much to do with the painting. The pink door. My husband won't let me paint the house pink. He's too concerned. I mean, oh, concerned about what? I mean, God. We have one minute left. I'm so excited. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, my God, my gorgeous, gorgeous uh, glasses. And um, I love having you tune in. People are saying to me more and more, I'm watching the show, Dawn. I love it. I'm like, well, get a canvas. Call me up. Private lessons. I'm doing private lessons yeah. with a guy named John. Yeah. People are going to be talking. Uh, but guess what? Yeah. It's clearly professional. I'm mixing paint. I'm going to try to get her hot pink door. 50 seconds, I'm doing the hot pink door. It's going to look gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Going right down. Pink with black doesn't work. And then we'll probably go into another other episode. I'm so excited. I hope you've been watching. And you know what? I hope everybody's been having a great summer. You come by my shop anytime you want. And you say, Dawn, I'm having trouble with these. I'll help you. I'm very good at it. Uh, you know, I've been doing it my whole life. I'm very good at it. So, and then next time you're doing something like this, make sure you go outside. You could sketch your own house. You could actually sketch your house and then change all the colors. Forget Hover. You can do it all old school. You can just sketch your house and then make it make a few copies and then color in the uh, the things differently i'm going to put her little shop thing around here but i think we'll get it in the next episode so that's fine i'll put these on here i mean it's just been great having you on my show